listen to my songs, right? I'm lyrical, but I am who I say I am. You know what I'm saying? I done been through shit. Before T Grizzly released his debut mixtape, My Moment, which racked up millions of plays on SoundCloud, and at the time of this recording received over a hundred million views for his double upload of First Day Out. Being broke did something to my spirit, ass niggas to plug me, they act like they couldn't hear me. Before following up his debut single with tracks like Second Day Out, No Effort, and From the D to the A featuring Lil Yachty. Before signing with 300 Entertainment and Atlantic Records and going on tour with the likes of 21 Savage and Young M.A. I was watching my people from prison, now we on tour together. Crazy, man. Crazy. We about to turn this shit up. Before promising a new collaborative project with Lil Durk and getting nominated for two BET Hip Hop Awards. T Grizzly grew up in Detroit, raised mainly by his extended family, as his parents were in and out of jail throughout his childhood. Inspired by his uncles and local established rappers, T started to rap himself in elementary school and joined a rap collective when he was just 14 years old. Despite being the first member of his family to go to college, it wasn't the best experience for T. With little money in his pocket, he started committing robberies to make some extra cash. This landed him in prison where he wrote the bulk of his debut mixtape. But that doesn't mean he wants everyone to follow in his footsteps. He gave this advice to his teenage fans. If you got a chance to go to college, bro, please go. You know what I'm saying? But college ain't for everybody, so if you ain't on that, then go take up a trade or something, bro. What's going on, guys? My name's Mike McCrudden, documenting the life and career of T Grizzly prior to fame here for you on Before They're Famous. In the past, I've covered some of his collaborators like 21 Savage, Young M.A., Little Dirk, and Little Yachty. I've also covered plenty of other up-and-coming rappers like XXX, Tentacion, Smoke Perp, and Nap. But you guys, let me know who you want me to document next in the comments down below. Also, you can hit me up on Instagram or Twitter at McCruddenApp. My pops got killed a couple years ago. I was old enough to feel that. My mama got sentenced to life in the feds. You know what I'm saying? I was old enough to feel that. T Grizzly was born Terry Sanchez Wallace on March 23rd, 1994. He was born and raised in Detroit, Michigan and grew up in the Joy Road neighborhood on the west side in what he described as an abusive household. There were drugs coming in and out of the house and his parents were in and out of jail throughout his childhood. As a result, his grandmother was often left to raise him along with his uncles and his aunties. They would often play hip hop and R&B in the house and his uncles would record raps in their studio sparking his love for music. T started rapping himself when he was just 11 or 12 years old, but he didn't have much to say and didn't see it going anywhere. It wouldn't be until he had some time to reflect being behind bars that he would see rap as a way of telling his story to make it big. I took it on the chin, nigga. For my brothers, I do that shit again, nigga. I put that money on they bush cause I'm a real nigga. We'll never try to fuck they bitch cause I'm a real nigga. Despite his come up in prison, T stayed on the straight and narrow throughout his childhood. He stated, my man's in the streets, but for some reason I was just always on the right track. It wasn't because of me and it wasn't because of nobody around me. God just kept me on the right path. I never smoked, drank, none of that. Always got good grades, but I'm in the hood with the worst of the worst people every day. While his studies were his main focus at the time, T's interest in rap grew throughout the years. He listened to established Detroit rappers like Blade, Icewood, and the Street Lords. And by 14, he would begin hitting up the studio regularly. While in middle school, he had a couple of his friends, Lee, JR, and Poe, they formed a rap group called All Stars Ball Hard. He took the stage name ASBHT and they would post their tracks to YouTube. All I know is get it hard from that powder form. All these things, all this traffic got me kinda annoyed. In 2011, T's mom was sentenced to 15 years for drug trafficking, and a year later, his father was murdered in the streets. Living through these tragedies kept him committed to making something for himself, and T became the first member of his family to even go to college when he was admitted to Michigan State University. Not bad. There he started studying accounting and finance, but ran into some financial problems of his own during his freshman year. Now there was no math that could fix his problem, so by February of 2014, T being flat broke, he decided to start stealing to get by. I didn't even know who I was at the time. 
I was into everything. I ain't had no do's and don'ts, no principles for real. I was really still growing up. Beginning on February 12th, he and his buddy Jeremy Christian Ford would sneak into unlocked dorm rooms in Hubbard Hall late at night, taking cash, laptops, and other electronics. The crime spree would come to an end on February 27th when the two were approached by police. The cops uncovered $10,000 worth of stolen merchandise and nearly $10,000 in cash, but the police released them, opting to gather more evidence before making an arrest. A few months later, T and two friends, Theo Evans and Juan Harris, made their way to Lexington, Kentucky to rob a jewelry store called the Castle Jewelry and Pawn. The plan was a quick smash and grab. A smash and grab is when you run in the jewelry store with a sledgehammer smash whatever particular piece of jewelry that you want and run out of there. But just after the guys smashed open a case full of watches with a sledgehammer, a customer pulled a gun on them, forcing all three on the ground to wait for the police. It wasn't even the owner, it was a customer. He, dog, what? Dude, dude that pulled the gun out didn't even work a good there. Samaritan. <laughs> right, he ain't even got nothing on the line. He, <laughs> he just said, oh, caught y'all. Yeah. T was charged with theft and sentenced to nine months in prison. He was then extradited to Michigan, where he faced two counts of second degree home invasion. He was originally offered a 30 year sentence for his crimes, but prosecutors eventually knocked it down to five. Nigga, you ever went to trial and fought for your life? T Grizzly got his stage name in prison, called that because of his grown out beard, untamed dreads, and wild behavior. He was incarcerated at St. Louis Correctional Facility, Macomb Correctional Facility, and Jackson State Prison. I felt like I wasn't never gonna get out, T recalled. Kentucky jails got a way of making you feel like them doors ain't gonna never be open. I remember thinking like, I ain't never gonna make it up out of here, no matter how much time they tell you. The conditions are so terrible down that, you feel like you ain't never gonna come home. I've been telling you guys the most profound quotes, you'll only find them here on Before They're Famous. Despite feeling like he may never get out, he started making plans for his future to the outside. He started reading a lot of books and wrote the lyrics for his debut mixtape, My Moment. When he was finally released on October 18, 2016, T went to the studio and started to record the song First Day Out. He shot a video with directors Nick Margetic and Everett Stewart outside of the closest jail, Ryan Correctional Facility. In the video, T Grizzly wears the same clothes he had worn in jail. He then reached out to Joseph McFashion, owner of a popular Detroit based YouTube channel and website called For Show Magazine, asking him to host the video. Joseph paid him $250 for the video, which was released on November 7th, 2017. Wait, wait, 2016, that's it. Yes, I caught cases on the road with them killers, bro. Kill me if I snitch, cause if you snitch, I'm gonna kill you. The video racked up over two million views in less than three weeks. At the time of this recording, it has gone on to be viewed over 77 million times, and a re-upload of the same video to T Grizzly's official YouTube channel has reached well over 29 million views. Probably because he regretted giving it to someone else when he saw all that views. You know, the money. The song was certified platinum and peaked at number 13 on Billboard's rap charts and number 48 on the Hot 100. Damn, that guy got really lucky. The one he gave it to, he hasn't even taken it down. Mm, it's like 150 grand. Anyway, following the success of First Day Out, T Grizzly dropped a natural follow up Second Day Out. He would also drop from the D to the A featuring Lil Yachty, No Effort, and B featuring Meek Mill. He would also feature on the track Any Means Necessary by Cash County Pilot and on I'm On The 3.0 by Trey The Truth. That song also featured a ton of major artists including T.I., Dave East, Royce to 59 Currency, Dram, Snoop Dogg, Fabulous, Rick Ross, Chameleon Air, g Easy, Styles P, E-40, Mark Morrison, and Gary Clark Jr. Wow, that's a lot of features for one track. On April 7th of 2017, T Grizzly dropped his debut studio album, My Moment, with labels Quality Control, 300, and Atlantic. Producers who worked on the album include DJ Mustard, Helleva, and Sunny Digital. The album hit number four on the Billboard Hot 200, 21 on the US R&B and hip hop charts, and 16 on the US rap chart. T Grizzly said his sales tripled after his lead single was featured on an Instagram post by LeBron James. Also in 2017, T Grizzly was nominated twice at the BET Hip Hop Awards for Best New Hip Hop Artist and Best Mixtape. He didn't win either, but was still kind enough to drop this cipher for BET. The Mustang used to always run out of gas. Now I'm in that race, touch the pain and it's a body bag. At the time of this recording, T Grizzly is working on a collaboration album with legendary Chicago rapper Lil Durk, which is scheduled to drop on Thanksgiving Day. If you want to learn more about T Grizzly's come up, he talks about it in his new single, Win, 
But as for the rest of the story, we'll have to wait and see because this is before they're famous. My name is Mike McCrudden. Thanks for checking out this video. I've got two more suggested videos for you down below. We're looking for suggestions on who you want us to document next. You know we can get absolutely anybody done. We've been doing a lot of rappers in the last few weeks, but we do YouTubers, we do models, we do Hollywood stars, absolutely anyone. We also do after they're famous. I'm thinking about doing one of those on Meek Mill and Fetty Wap. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'll see you guys in another video.